Hey Groovers, welcome to the Four Post of Bed and the show which I've been neglecting of late. Look guys, I've just got really hacked off with content creation. It's My daughter said yesterday, and it's funny isn't it, sometimes other people tell you what you know but you haven't put into words. And she said, well apparently content, content creation is the new nine to five. And I thought, God, I've, I've ended up with a really banal job. Um, and, I, you know, as a natural beast of pleasure, I've sort of already decided this week I don't, it's not what I want to do. And I, I haven't done anything, really. Um, I think I've uploaded some books to the show. That's it. But the rest of it, you know, getting all dressed up and, um, make you know, making dance videos and all of that. I just thought, God, it takes so long to make... 30 seconds of really cool video it doesn't take 30 seconds to make um uh, you know if i'm talking about quality here i mean yeah you can what look do yourself and you know do something stupid i mean you could probably fart on oh, such a good idea actually <laughs> farting you could have a whole um t- uh, tiktok couldn't you where you just say just go on screen you say It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then you do a big fart and then you laugh hysterically and stop. And then that's it. I mean, that would get millions of views, wouldn't it? But I mean, who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? Um, You know, the things that I want to do, the proud making things, the things that give me great joy, um, music and art, they take so long. As soon as you start trying to make content that is acceptable, um, viewable, stuff that people will, you know, sit through. Because who's going to sit through... I mean, I spend five, six, seven hours a day drawing at the moment. And who's going to sit through that? And you don't want to film it and, and film it and then speed it up. That takes ages to do. You need a lot of computer power, CPU, I believe it's called. It takes up so much room on all your devices. And that's been a massive problem for me the last few days as well, or the last few weeks, rather. Um, So, yeah, I'm just really rethinking stuff. I mean, you know, I've got some great content already. Um, There's no reason, really, that I should be making wonderful, amazing, super-duper fresh, regurgitated content because that's all it is. Or when you're making stuff for Twitter and TikTok and whatever it is, all you're doing is rehashing old ideas. You're doing them, in, you know, comedy, slapstick, um, makeup, diet. And I had the misfortune to see somebody really, really fat on. I suppose it's because I, I talk about dieting a lot. Um, on Facebook, I think it was. And and all she did was put up her T-shirt. Well, no, she didn't even do that. I mean, she wasn't showing her boobs. She was just grabbing all her fat and, you know, l- lobbing it around like it was a second person. And I just thought... And she, she says she's starting a diet journey. I mean, she may well do. I don't know. But I thought... She'd had millions of views. And I thought, there it, there it is. This is this... There's something about human beings that really likes to watch a, a failure, for want of a better word, you know, or an extremist, somebody who's done a particular thing to the extreme, you know, whether it's starved or got fat or, you know, throwing themselves onto a car, like some, you know, um, kind of stunt man thing or stunt woman thing. Um, t- bullying, you know, all these things. They've got, they're extremes, aren't they? And, you know, I talked about banal... I mean, I find ex- extreme extremism, I find banal, but the public, you know, they they don't really want to just listen to the minutiae or watch the detail. It's not what... The, that's not what's you know, the internet's about, is it? I mean, if you make art, it's a different thing, I, I guess. You go to an art gallery and you can watch somebody just standing there and, and do, repeating something, whether it's a static movement 
how, how can it be a static movement where well, you're breathing? I'm thinking like Yoko Ono's bum in a in a tank, you know. That's a sort of repeated. Um, although she's not moving, do you see what I mean? Though, you see what I'm saying? It's a repeated situation. So I'm feeling very arty because I've been doing all these drawings and yesterday I did the most amazing um, drawing with my new, one of my new pens in this art set. A, a bit of an update about art set. It's really glitchy. It crashed three times, which was annoying. So you're, you're better off because Pro, I notice Procreate crashes a bit as well. Um, not, not as often, but it does. And I think I just put it through so many instructions Rub it out, do it again, rub it out, do it again. Different colour, different size brush, different paint, different medium. You know, it's constant. And I'm tap, 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 tapping all the way, all the way. It's quite interesting. Um, and I think the software, the you know, the, I'm using apps on an iPad. I think they just get a bit, oh, God almighty, make up your bloody mind. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what am I going to do about that? Well, I'm going to do quite a lot, actually. I'm going to stop making content. Um, I've been, I'm waiting for my costumes for Freak's Kitchen and I will do those when my new outfit comes because it's fantastic. But the outfit, it's part of my character, the Marchioness of Dorchester. And she can read the poetry as well. So I will be doing some content. Poems and cooking and witches spells. Because that's part of the kitchen as well. I thought that'd be fun. But that's it. And I'm only going to do it on a Monday. Or on one day a week. Doesn't matter what day, does it really? With with on demand. Um, and, and my music. My music therapy. I did a really good one yesterday. So I had this... Uh, I did one without piano yesterday. And I preferred it, to be honest. Um, so I had the kilohertz for shrinking cancer tumours and I used it it was on a it was a pulsing kilohertz generated file and I used that now the, they sound awful and you you know you can't expect people to suffer them so for me it's all about disguising the the frequency so the frequency is in there so I took the frequency and I turned it into a musical instrument. I kept the frequency on the recording. You can hear it if you really concentrate. Um, I noticed my bubbles were up quite high. The bubbles are much higher when I play on a computer. They must It must be trebly. The bubbles must be trebly um, than when I hear them in my headphones. Um, anyway, uh, it was... It was good. I used a, I used a choir to kind of block out the audio of the frequencies, which was just irritating. But we want them there. We want, you know, we want the vibrations in there, otherwise how are they going to work? Um, so I was looking around at things. I was looking around at getting a licence, a music licence, so I could DJ for my... I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm a, D, a DJ. When, I'm not talking about, you know trance or house or thumping fucking raves i'm talking about you know just presenting a radio show um or presenting a podcast should i say and i thought well i should just put the podcasts really onto my vimeo my new vimeo sh channel which is still a baby and still trying to understand what i want to do with it because it has to be something that i want to do not something that I'm sort of backed into a corner with and I feel that I've just got to make money with it. You know, it's got to be something that I am that I relish, do you see what I mean? So I thought, right, OK, well, I talk a lot and I make a lot, I've made a lot of music because I looked at getting a licence, right? We've got to, in this country, we use the PRS. And I, something flashed up on my screen and I thought it said, get a licence for twelve ninety nine. And I thought, oh, that's good. This is a licence to play other people's music. And I sort of thought, oh, maybe it's a monthly, but I thought it said annually. And I thought, oh, let me go and look. It seems like a bargain. Well, it was 12500 <laughs> a year for the privilege of playing other people's music. And I thought, Jesus Christ, that's an awful lot of money. 
And then I thought, well, I've got a lot of music. I've got tons of music. I've been making music for years now. I can just play my own music. So that's where I'm going with this. So lots more music is on its way. And I think that's, I think that's really, because of course I can do it on Vimeo, because I own all the copyrights. So, um, and then I thought, well, I could do it with a webcam and make it a bit more visual. Um, so I found a kaleidoscope um, a plug-in thing. The thing with, with the plugins, they work while you're recording live, um, but they don't work to put it a plug in to a, a piece of footage. Do you see what I mean? And I used to use something called Corel um, Ultimate Pro. I think it's Corel Ultimate Pro. And I loved that software, but it was when I had a PC and I don't have a PC anymore. So annoyingly, you can't get it for a Mac. Um, well, there is, a, I think there is a version, but my Mac's too old. Um, so that was a, that was a bit of a shambles because I, you know, I spent a few hours trying to sort that out and getting the free trial to see if I liked it. Anyway, basically, long story short, I'm sure you want the short version. I pointed my iPad at my bedroom and pressed record and then activated the plug-in. And then I thought, right, well, that that didn't work because the plug-in stopped when I pressed record. So then I thought, right, record screen. So I did that. And that actually did work. You just have to chop the, the start off before you press the button. The issue with it was I got the play button on the recording because the play button's on the screen. So that was annoying. There's probably a way I can disengage that. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I just uh, I just cropped that out in the edit. And I used Rush, Premiere Rush. So in the end, I got some footage, which was actually quite hypnotic. That's what I wanted. So where, theoretically, when I present the show on, on a webcam, I can talk between tracks. And while the tracks are playing, I can play these trippy videos. I thought that's quite nice. Quite a. It's, I did I, the one I did yesterday. I did in black and white, and it looked. I did it in an ink style. I'm really into ink at the moment. I'm doing lots of ink on on the art side as well. I'm a bit obsessed actually with ink. <laughs> I really like it. Um, and marker pens a bit like an ink, isn't it? Anyway, they're going on my Saatchi in a bit. Um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a. Funny, funny day, really. Funny week, you know, thinking, right, now I've got to change my life. I don't like this. I don't like what's happening. I don't like what I've become. I don't want to be a content creator. I mean, obviously, I'm going to make some content. But this idea that I'm making, you know, nine till five, just, you know, two days later, I've got a, you know, some scrappy video that I'm not... It, it, I'm proud of it. Of course, you you know, you get proud of what you do, but it's not, it's not interesting. You know, it's not cutting edge, it's not dynamic, it's not, um, it won't stand the test of time. So, yeah, there we go. So, the the Marchioness of Dorchester, the poet, when my frock comes, I hope it comes this week, um, I'll, I'm just going to sit on a chair and recite poetry, and I can just recite all my poems, you know, I've got about 20 to do already, and I can just bang them out. I mean, the thing with a poem is it's quite hard to make a mistake. Um, cut myself out, superimpose me on something. There we go. Just make one big, long film and then cut it up. Cut it up into individual poems. And then pop those on my Vimeo. And probably my my um, YouTube as well. Why not? Um, I mean, contents, contents, contents. So, we'll see. Anyway, I said a bit flat, I've just realised. I better have my second coffee. Drinking through a straw, guys, a silver straw that I got from Fortnum & Mason in London. I'm drinking my coffee through it and my teeth are still white. So clearly the coffee is a bad thing. Um, so, yeah, speak to you later.